Good evening to everyone out there in grassland, or should I say wetland. Um, it is Friday evening, 7 p.m., um, the day after Milton came through, sliced through Central Florida. Um, I want to, we're just now getting internet. I want to put the uh, a quick video out uh, for law and service update and uh, for um, storm cleanup. In the past, we've been doing this for 14 years. In the past, um, I have tried to get caught up um, with the lawns after uh, the, a hurricane. It's impossible. We, we never get caught up. Never happens. So uh, this year, what we're going to do is we're just going to wait till um, Monday and just do the regular lawns on, on Monday, the regular routes. And uh, if uh, we need to do cleanups um, before we cut the grass, and we do, we need to do cleanups. We can't leave the branches on the ground. Um, because if we run over the branches with the mowers, um, it nicks the blades of the mowers and the people that uh, uh, did clean up, our next customers uh, throughout the day, will get uh, sporadic um, un uneven cuts. And if you've ever seen the, uh, a lawn that has uh, grass, just blades of grass sticking up every so often, that's because it was cut with a, a chipped blade. And it don't take much to chip these blades. We can go over twigs, that's really no twigs, twigs and some uh, leaves, that's no problem. Um, but uh, anything over maybe a quarter inch, we, we need to be picked up, I'm just going to chip the blades. So with that being said, um, in the past, we've had properties that um, thought that the, uh, a storm cleanup was included with the grass cutting. It's not. Um, grass cutting that would be a separate job. Grass cutting, um, we, we charge from you know go to point A to point B. Um, if we have to pick up um, debris from the lawn, that would be considered a project. And we can do that. That's no problem. We have the capabilities of doing that, and we will. Um, so when uh, if we come to a property and uh, it needs cleaned up, so what what we'll do is we'll just clean up the property first, unless we're told otherwise. That's why I'm putting out the video, unless. I'm told otherwise, and no, Craig, I'll get it. Um, but the properties need to be cleaned up before we cut the grass. Um, so we'll clean up the property, and then uh, when that's done, we'll go to the regular surface and cut the grass. Projects like clean up, property cleanups um, run on hourly. It's a, right now it's a buck fifty per minute per man. Right now we're anticipating two, um, possibly three, um, team members to be going out next week. So it's relevant. So if we have three team member, team members, it'll get cleaned up faster. Okay, that's all that is. It'd be the same cost, just clean up faster. Um, so I wanted to put this out, and uh, if anybody does not want their lawn cleaned up, you know I'll get it. Um, when we go out to the property, um, and we got we got a, we get a message saying we don't want it cleaned up, we'll skip that property, and we'll service it the following week. Now the properties we had to skip last week, um, aside from the cleanup, um, we're going to do a little bit. Have to do a little more work because the grass is probably almost twice as high now. But because we didn't um, service some of the properties, some of the properties last week, um, that money will be carried over for this week for additional time to get caught up on the properties. But that's not the time for um, cleanups. It, the cleanup projects are separate, separate. Um, separate invoicing. I hope that you uh, came through the hurricane um, with flying colors um, and um, we look forward to serving your property next week and we want to thank you for your business and the opportunity to be your lawn care provider. You have a great weekend.